What are you doing? Don't you know? School's out for the summer. School's out for ever! Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. I've uh, started construction on our wonderful wall, and I think it shall link together quite nicely if I, uh, if I do it correctly. I still can't tear that fucking door frame down, which is uh, chapping my ass quite a little bit. But it be what it be, so uh, we're gonna do what we do. I'm gonna drop these uh, these bullshits, shotguns and whatnot. And uh, I actually found out yesterday that I can roll a d6 with my shoes, so hopefully I'll I'll use that at some point. That'll be quite nice, huh? And I've also got a Glock and some 40 40 mil rounds. Um, so we'll try not to forget those. There's my axe. Got a couple more trees. I'll do some chop, chop, chopping. Chopping away. That's how it be around here today. Because I am a lumberjack and I'm okay. I sleep all night and I work all day. That's just how it goes. Every once in a while. It's 5.30 in the morning I'm out here chopping down trees already. What the fuck? How's that work? Pretty well. Pretty well, let me tell you that. Chop chop. I should probably build a door um, on this side as well. So I'll need to get some hinges and whatnot. But uh, we'll do it after this, after this set, so it's not like hidden under this bleachers or whatever. Balcony, that's what it's called. It ain't bleachers, it's a balcony. Everybody knows that. Look at this, look at this stairs madness. Is this going to work at all? I don't know. I don't know! We're going to try and make it work. I need to uh, work up my master carpentry a little bit so my guy stops being like, I don't understand! I don't understand! I know. I know you don't. Because you're a little waterhead. Your head is filled with water! Alright, so we can do three walls going out this way. And then uh, I can also cover them with wood, because it's good. And then I'll build a door on that side. I think that would be most wondrous. And I'm getting 30 experience for each one. So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to, uh, to hit that next level that I want to hit. Hmm. Oh, covering with wood gives a lot more experience. Let's see. 65 to 245. Yeah, it's like 180 experience per. Maybe I will hit it. Maybe it's going to be awesome. It's definitely going to be awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Look how we do in there. And also, uh, I need some foods. Could I get some food somewhere? I'm very hungry, you see. Mm, I got apple juice. But that only takes down two hunger. How about in here? Y'all got a fridge or something? They don't have a fridge. I mean, it is a motel. So I suppose uh, I shouldn't be surprised by that. Alright. I'm going to go across the street real quick to that there Mini Mart. And the Mini Mart must be making a killing because uh, they're right across the street from the hotel. And the hotel doesn't have stoves or anything like that. So what do we got here? Some chips? I'll eat that. Some Skittle candy for dessert? I eat that. And then some more chips. I'm gonna eat my way through this in no time at all. I'm a very hungry caterpillar, you see. Alright, well fed. That's that's good enough. Oh, and the door hinge and doorknob are right here. Directly where I need them. Fortuitous, yes! Alright, so let's run it on back. Run it on back! We gotta chop some trees, too. Can't forget that part. That's crucial. Uh, equip axe in primary. Uh, I should probably be uh, heading a little further away. I don't want to chop all the trees down around my hotel. Of course, they're trees. They'll probably grow back. Everything's going to be just fine. And luckily there's uh, no zombies to come out here and try and tickle my butt. Because that's what they do. 
if they hear ya. But there ain't none. I didn't leave none alive to hear me. Alright, so, uh, good amount of planks and whatnots here. I'll build my door. I shall build my door just there. Uh, chop them up. Chop up them logs. Now a lot of people tell you just build a window and then uh, you can put a sheet and it acts like a door, but uh, I like actual doors. It's classy. I'm all about class. Even if you're living in a zombocalypse, you gotta remember, it's all about class. So 13 planks, that's looking pretty good. Uh, door frame. I need more nails. Shite! I forgot about the nails! I don't suppose I have a box with me. No, of course not. Alright. <clears throat> I make the slow trek back upstairs. Hey, box of nails, where you at? Grab one of these. Open that shit up. There we go. Now we're good to build a little further. I said open it. Would you please? Would you kindly? Would you kindly, sir? And uh, we'll probably need even another box of nails, but you know what? I got so many. I got so many, I don't even know what to do with them all. Ah, that's why I take on uh, many projects. Many, many projects. Makes me feel so constructive. Alright, a little more wall frames. How many could we do? Just this one? The door takes a lot of planks. Four for the frame and four for the door. Damn. Damn, Bo! I didn't know it's like that. Uh, let's drop some planks over here, I suppose. That'll do. That'll do nicely. And as usual, I'm just playing this game like a fucking squirrel. And just, uh, dropping things where I think I'll remember that they might be later. Squirrel is pretty accurate, actually. That's exactly what squirrels do. They're like, I'm gonna hide these acorns right here, and I'll totally remember later. But no, you won't, because you're a squirrel. You see? Squirrels don't remember nothing! And then they come across it later, and they're like, ooh, what a what a sweet treat. Much, much like the Dayton do. Yep. It's about the best analogy I could think of. Tell you what. Heavy load. Heavy load in my pants. Here we go. <clears throat> so, uh, a little more. Still got such a long way to go. I don't want to do this all day, but we're making pretty pretty easy progress on it. Let's see. Not too much left. Should be uh, carpentry level 9 right after I finish this. And then I'll have to read the book a little bit and uh, get some more skills and whatnot. Because I don't want to have these skill points go to waste, you see? So we'll do uh, 3 wall... Three Wally Walls. There we go. That's looking so nice. Excellent job, little Dayton. You're quite a craftsman, aren't you? He's like, yeah, I could build a table. I could build a baseball bat. I could build whatever I want. This is my world. Dayton does world. And there's that level. Shazam! Hooray! 169 to 184. Yeah. And our uh, little booster is gone, so I gotta read my book. I gotta read my book in order to, to do some more. But that's alright. Everything's fine. Everything's awesome. Let's uh, pack this axe back up. And we'll pack the, uh, the hammer away too, I suppose. Baseball bat, come with me. Master carpentry book. It's hanging around. That's for sure, at least. And, uh, I passed by that school yesterday. I thought it was the gym, but the gym is up that way. So, let's go see if we can find the school. I mean, how much how much shit could there possibly be in a school? Know what I mean? It's probably not gonna have, like, so much loot or anything that cool. But, uh, I feel bad. I feel bad for the school chillins. You see? Uh, let's put these hinges and planks, because I'm sure I will need them at some point. This town was so nice when I came to it, you know? It was so fucking pristine 
and nothing was ruined. And then, the, and then the zombies just roll through, do whatever the hell they want, you know? I think that's fair. I think that's nice. I think that's acceptable. I sure don't. Ah, but it's how it goes, I suppose. Decay. Decay, decay, decay. Here's a bunch of axes. Dude, I should have come here. I skipped right over this place. Well, I can repair this baseball bat with some wood glue. That would be a good idea. Yes. Wonderful. It didn't do as well as I had hoped. More. More! More! I shouldn't waste too much of this, I guess. Thank you, wood glue. You've been quite helpful. Please go back on the shelf until I need you. At a later date. <clears throat> I saw a padlock. What's a padlock for? Used to lock containers. Items and equip equipment can be stored securely. Well, I'm not hiding my uh, items from other players. I'm just hiding them from zombies, which, uh... They don't know how fucking locks work or anything like that. They can't even get through a door. They're so dumb. Look at how dumb they are. Ah, <laughs> uh, got him. Got him, coach. Hell yeah. I remember this wall from some point. Just avoid that fella right there. Swing on through the kitchen. Maybe there's uh, somewhere that I can sit down. My exertion is a little higher than I thought it would be. Let's go in this corner. That seems a safe place to rest for just a moment. And I uh, also have an energy drink should my uh, tiredness get the best of me. Which it does from time to time. You know, running around doing all this stuff. It can, uh, it can easily exhaust one. You must keep yourself well rested lest the zombies come for you. And if you're all tired when the zombies come, that's it. That's it for you, bro. You're done. You're done! Colt Commander Super 38. Ooh. It has super in the name. But not many bullets, so... I'll just take your $50 bill and be on my way. Thank you, sir. So nice of you. It's too bad you can't pickpocket the zombies, like if your sneaking's high enough. You just walk up to the zombies and you're like, what's in your pockets? And then as you're uh, shifting through that little inventory screen, they turn around and bite the shit out of you. That's how that would go. I think that's why it's not a feature yet. But largely in uh, Project Zomboid, I'm I'm just waiting for new features. It used to be one a week and then I took... Or it used to be two a week and then I took it down to one a week. Because, uh, yeah, I want some new features. I want vehicles and things like that. I don't want the series to stop completely, but uh, I do want some new stuff, like uh, like Riverside. That was a new thing, and so I was like, hey, let's adventure over that way. And almost died getting here, but hey, we're here now. That's what's most importantly. What's most importantly? Oh, and there's that sliding glass door. Super cool. Super cool, bro. All right. What you got? Magazine? I pass. Do not want. Oh, somebody locked the sliding glass door. Maybe I haven't been in this house yet. Let's have a little look-see. Climb through. Close window. Let's open this door. There we go. Convenience at its finest! Now this egg carton has kept the eggs fresh. I don't know how. That seems like a miracle. Oh, this guy drank some, uh, some bleach. Read this empty notebook. Oh, I thought maybe he wrote something about why he drank the bleach and left himself on the floor. That would be a cool addition. Unfortunately, not the case. The boy just drank some bleach. Who could blame him? Do you want to live in this world? I know I don't. And, uh... Little Dayton doesn't have a choice, so he's just he's just doing the best he can, you know? Making the best of what he got, which ain't too much. There's another box of nails. I take... Nails, nails, crate. Yeah. All these things are good. Cardboard box. I don't know what I would use that for. I'm a little bit hungry again. Hmm. Where did I see some foodies? 
In the Friggy? Yes. I think we must go back to the Friggy. Oh, I hear them outside. What y'all doing out there? Luckily, I don't need to make a bed. That was like one of the the first things that I had to do to build my, my fishing base. And it was a pain, dude. My goodness, I spent so much time looking for a needle and thread and pillows. And I think it's four pillows, four sheets, if I remember correctly. Which I hope I do. A couple batteries, some nails. Wood crate. Wood crates, give to me. Oh, I guess I'm putting wood crates in the other bag. There you go. That'll do nice. We got fish food, chicken wire. Well, I ain't got fishes. I ain't got chickens. I got fishes, but like, you know, they're outdoor fish. <laughs> I don't know what happens to them. I just kind of let them go. Like, okay, see you later, fish. When I'm hungry. Eh, eh, eh. It's probably what would happen if I had chickens, too. So that was an interesting house with the guy that drank some bleach. There's some backstory there. I just wish he had uh, written in his notebook some uh, some final scrawlings. You know, maybe he went insane or something. Let's eat this ham. And eat this whole ham. Oh, it's so good. Ugh. A whole ham? Are you kidding? I wouldn't want to go anywhere after that. I'm like, I'm full of pork fat. I'm gonna sit. A, I'm gonna sit down for just a minute, and then I probably go to sleep. I'd be like, "All right, nap time." This this is so comfortable. This sitting thing. Let's just try closing our eyes while we do it. Oh, now you're asleep. The windows are all open. The zombies are coming. You're gonna get clobbered. You can't give in to your baser instincts if you want to survive in a world like this. I'm trying to run into a fucking closed door. Yeah, that's going to work. Welcome to the garage. What a lovely garage it is. Pallet of gray bricks, shotgun shells. Hmm. Fascinating. Adhesive tape, aluminum bats, aluminum bats, if you're uh, not American. You know, some people like to be lazy. We say aluminum, but it's aluminum. I guess the, uh, the creators of this game aren't, aren't American. I don't really know for sure. Here's another wood crate. That's gonna be good. Makes it nice and easy. Ain't gotta chop down trees or nothing. You just kinda grab wood crates and you're like, alright, break them down. Put them together. Or, yeah, don't put them together as a wood crate again, but put them together as a wall. Yeah, that's how it goes. Alright, there's a baseball bat in that uh, cabinet, but it's in relatively shit shape. So I think we're about done in this house. Oh, I do want a drink. I want a drinky drink from the sinky sink. Fill these water bottles up. That seems a good idea. And one more drink. Because I uh, probably... Probably expended at least like half an ounce of water. I don't actually know how much an ounce is. Nobody does. It's the uh, Imperial Measurement System. If you said milliliters, people would be like, oh, okay. But you say ounce, it's like fucking lost knowledge, dude. Like, who built the pyramids, you know? <laughs> Egyptians built the pyramids. One ounce is, uh, is there, there's 16 of them in a gallon, or something like that. Is it 32? I can't remember. I'm gonna let this lady in. Hey, lady. Why don't you want to go inside the house? You'd rather lay down in the grass and have a little nap? It's fine, I can help you with that. Nap. Nap! Nap forever! <laughs> okay. Looks like I've been through this house before, because all the fucking doors are open. So, I'm just going to assume we have, and uh, call that that. There's a plank here. I don't really need that. Saran wrap. What, what are you going to use saran wrap for? How much longer are you going to preserve something? with saran wrap. Nobody knows. It doesn't work that good. I mean, it's better than nothing. But, uh... It's certainly, certainly not something that, uh, I'm going to bother with. Maybe I could wrap myself in saran wrap. Keep myself, uh, zombie bite free. Is that gonna work? 
I don't think so. It's a good idea. You'd have to use a lot of saran wrap, though. And even then, I think people can bite through saran wrap. How many layers of saran wrap can a zombie bite through? This is a question for science. I'm gonna wrap a dog in saran wrap and just have him run down the street. And see, uh... See if he gets bit with 30 layers of saran wrap on him. And if he does, then I'll put more. But if he doesn't, then I'm gonna put less and repeat the test. So we find out the minimum. The minimum layers of saran wrap necessary to keep one safe from a zombie attack. And I think that's gonna be pretty valuable knowledge, you know? People are gonna pay me the big bucks for that. And as a, a post-apocalyptic survivor, I totally put uh, lots of investment and money. Really, I think all it's used for is to start fires. So, uh, yeah. Not so great, but still. Fire's important. There's plenty of kindling and stuff like that, though. You can get a book. You can get a, a notebook. There's so many friggin' things around that you could just, uh, decide to burn. Finally, we made it to the school. What a... What a series of trips I've had. And, uh, it seems these vending machines still have some stuff in them. So I'm gonna take that. I said, gives me that. I want it for free. I said, gives me that. Because that's what I need. I said, gives me that. Gives me that. And that's a lot of pop. Twelve pops? Hmm. I don't have anywhere that I could fit them. Where can you fit two two packages of pop? Two six packs. Or maybe you just bought a twelve pack. I don't know. I ain't no cola scientist or whatever. I should be. I should be, but they wouldn't give me my certificate. <laughs> certificate from uh, Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola you. Hmm. Coca-Cola me. Yeah, this is just junk. Oh, there's wood crates. That's nice. Got seven of those, so that's uh, basically a little more than two trees worth of wood crates. Oh, and there's a, a lady wandering around. What are you doing? Don't you know? School's out for the summer. School's out for ever! Alright. Anything else in here? A couple needles. Some uh, wood glue. I'm going to take this wood glue. I don't want to go searching around if I need it again. That, uh... That little sh supply shop or whatever it is. Obviously, I might remember that some wood glue is hidden in there. But, uh, I don't think I would remember that wood glue is hidden in this place. Oh god. I can't fit this wooden crate. Please, I want. I need. Oh, and also my energy's dropping. Let's drink a little sody. A little energy drink. Which is basically just sody. Let's be honest with each other. And my, uh, my weight limit is up there now. So let's just see if I can remember where the school is for the next time. I mean, it, it it generally is a bunch of junk. There's not a whole lot that interests me there. But you never know. It could be useful at some point. Especially if I barricaded everything and made it like a second base, but I kind of already decided on the hotel for that, so... It be what it be, but yeah, it's just straight down from this weird-looking brick wall. And, uh... Basically down the street from the hotel, I think. Do people that live in the hotel send their children to that school? That's weird, man. I never heard of hotel kids going to school. Hotel kids usually got like a drug problem or something. They live in a hotel because their parents are on meth. I mean, not judging if you lived in a hotel or something. But that's just, that's just what I think of. That's what comes to my mind, personally. Uh, we got, we got two, two planks just sitting around, and two more. Ooh, it's the equivalent of two more wood crates. Yes, quite nice, I think. Mmm. Alright, break them all down. Take your time. Don't worry, it's 3.30 in the afternoon. We got about five hours before Betty Bye comes. And then I'm going to say, Betty Bye. Bye, Betty. Who's Betty? Who the fuck is Betty? You better tell me right now. Uh, I think I'm a little overweighted. Yeah. Can't carry any more planks. So uh, I'll just throw them on the floor. Like an animal. 
Like an animal. Uh, not a wood pillar, damn it. I need a wall frame. There we go. How many can I build, approximately? Hmm. Seems I'll do that three. Three, and then I have, like, how many wood planks here? Was it eight? Yeah. So I'll just finish these off. That's gonna be nice. I really need to get that, uh, carpentry book read. Because I'm kind of wasting skill points by doing this. If you want to look at it that way. I'm still getting some skill points, but not as much as I would be with, like, a gigantic multiplier. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave those planks. I'm gonna go, uh, try and get some carpentry action. Read my carpentry book for just a little while. I think this should be quite... Quite good for me. Go for me, go for me. Alright. And my guy's a slow reader, so um you know what that means. It's gonna take forever. He reads one page in ten minutes. That's that's good if you're like five years old or something. But for a grown man with a beard and shit, you should be reading faster, alright? You should be reading way faster. And I'm not gonna tell you how fast. Because, uh, you know, who is it for me to judge? People have different abilities and things like that. But honestly, come on, bro. Step your game up. That's all I'm saying. We're on page 38, and uh, it's taken us basically... Basically two hours to read one-tenth of the book. So, that's that's not good. That's not good. I don't think that's good. I kind of want to get to, like, the halfway point, but I don't think we're going to do that without, like, hitting midnight and shit like that. Oh, what a pain, what a pain. At least I'm getting, like, a little bit of multiplier for reading some of the book. That's somewhat helpful. And my drowsiness is getting the better of me, so, okay. I'll stop it right there. Let's see what that multiplier is. Hmm. It doesn't say. It doesn't say, but at least I get, uh, something. Something better than nothing. Anyways, friends. This has been Project Zombo, and I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. If you did enjoy the episode, you can also dislike if you didn't like it. But I'd appreciate it if you let me know what was wrong with it. Um, because yeah, that's helpful. Constructive criticism, and then we can make it better. Stuff like that. I've also got some uh, links down there in the link swarm. If you want to check out my Twitter, uh, Patreon, Discord, Facebook, Anook, all these good things. Uh, you can hit me up on any one of them. I will be alerted through my email, which uh, is also listed on my Twitter. And, uh, or not my Twitter, my YouTube. My YouTube about page. You could email me from there if you want. And, uh, if, if you have something interesting to say, I'll write you back. We can have a little combo. Anyways, enough rambling. <laughs> I thank you so, so much for watching. Once again, friends, this has been Project Zomboid. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one. And until then, friends. Bye-bye! One, two, three, four Goodbye, goodbye, see you again Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends